Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing her out this time, so... Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Good lad. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. Oh, come here, my little sand goose. Oh, you're so romantic. I'd sort him out for who was his father. Well, there's a bit of a dean. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here, guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. <laughs> Look, there's a little swine. I'm going after him. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. You just gonna stand there like a lemon? Thank <laughs> you. 
got you, you little ruffian. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Destruction of a person's vendables. Accessory to improper man and lady behaviour. That sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Stupid little idiot. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just cos I said I'd rip its stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm gonna make his life a misery. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beats anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. This boy was being nasty to me, and now you're hitting me too. Me and Emily just wanted to play with Rosie. I don't know what I've done. Someone tell me what I've done. <laughs> just take Rosie if it means you'll leave me alone. Nice work. Now I'll give you half his pocket money if you let me have her. Thanks. You and I got a lot in common. Here, take his money as a reward for returning her to me. Now, Rosie, what game shall we play, huh? Teddy no legs? What about burning fur? Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. <laughs> <laughs>